as Julie said, I had an epic day. <laughs> I brought a dog. Yeah, she decided to handicap herself with uh, the dog here as a, as a challenge so that um, I could actually feel good about myself and finding things. And Even more I than I already her, am. her willing to do that. So that was very kind. But... Welcome to another episode of AZ Rockhound Expeditions. Today we are at Diamond Point looking for quartz crystals. Geode! Oh, right found a geode. Cool. Yeah, we're Diamond Point-ish. We're not actually on Yeah, we're not actually at Diamond Point. We're in the area. We're in the area. We're going wider. We're going wider. And farther. There, I read a, um, Yes, I read a geology report. I'll keep the words going for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I read a geology report uh, from about 45, 50 years ago that said that they were mining for large double terminated crystals. So um, I got the GPS coordinates, so we're going to try to find that. We may come up with nothing at all, but we're trying. Just investigating our own drainage right now. Yeah. Actually, we already found a geode, so that's cool. Yeah, we found a geode, so that's yeah. something. All right, Bear Bait's back. I got little Pixie here who's going to help us find diamonds, which um, she just did. And it's right. Oh, gosh, Pix. Wow. You got more. Got away, we Bingo. found one that's right there. I know. I know you want love. Another little one right here, tiny, tiny, tiny. We found one. But, oh, come on out of there. So they're here. Oh, yeah. Are you bored, Pix? Are you bored? Mm -hmm. She wanted to come. Here's another little tiny one right here. Oh, wow. Tiny. Yeah. There's one right there. Little tiny one. Little tiny guy. Yeah, I and mean, look at this piece of quartz I found. It's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Look at the color. Yep. It's like maroon. It is. You're a maroon. You're a maroon. Yeah, little tiny, tiny guys, but they're yeah. in here. So, just indicators, once again, like we always do. Oh, oh. Oh, good gravy. Yeah. That was hidden in plain sight. Wow, look at that. I mean, it's not great quality, but oops. Clean it. Be nice. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So, for just picking a random drainage in the general area, we're uh, doing okay. I told you it looks suspicious. I know. So, that's pretty cool. I found cool. a few little tiny sparkly ones and missed it. <laughs> oh no. Uh-oh. I dropped one. Uh-oh. Great. We gotta refine it. Here. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Use the baggie. Yeah, that's what we brought it for. Hey, hold on, broken hands. Ugh, yeah. There we uh, go. Brian just had surgery. And Julie made me come out and look for rocks. Well, this was <laughs> easy. <laughs> Yeah, if you notice, no packs, no anything. Take it s simple and find cool stuff. Yeah. Um, did you actually lose it for real? Um, yeah, I, I heard something drop. Oh, well. Looks like it's time for a needle in a haystack. Yeah, it could have been like the really small one. This is good, I was rusty at stupid. I needed some practice. Yeah. Looks <laughs> just like regular quartz. It doesn't really look like, you know, diamond quality. I got a... Flat geode. flat geode. So, I got this little point that I just found. Oh, oh. very icy. And then this chunker. Hey. No. No. Oh yeah, no, that's, uh, that's, yeah, yeah, that used to be. Look at all those sides. Oh, somebody was digging there. See their dig, but oh yeah, look at that. just sitting here Ooh. in the bottom of the creek. It's like glass. Yeah, at first I thought it was. <laughs> you know. Oh, you just stepped on one. Did I really? Right there. Oh geez, yeah. Oh yeah. Let's look at that thing. Look at that. Ooh. 
Wow. Nice point to it. Yeah. You can see a prism running through it. That is awesome. That's a good one. Nice little chunk. Yeah. That's funny. We just stepped on one. No kidding. Oh. Yep. Another little one. Oh, and another. But that one's not really much. I no. wonder if that was coming much. from that hole they up done? there or if that was coming from the hole. We are finding things. We know we're on the right path. Yep. Just looking over here. We are, uh, my dog is in the backpack. Hi, Pex. She's blind, so this little trail, we can't let her walk in it. A little fragment. Right there. Mm. Yep. I see. Wow, yeah. Nice little point to it. Clean it up. Yeah. So in this area, the drainage, what is it, south of the cave? Uh, north. North of the cave. Oh, there's one. There it is. Um, they are everywhere. Yeah, lots of evidence. So many little crystals. We haven't found like super, super epic, but we found a lot with points, a lot that look like ice, a lot like glass. Clarity in that. Clarity, yeah. Yeah, just cool little things. Yeah. They're pretty awesome. This yeah. is the best we've ever done now that we know what, what to do. But um, yeah, somewhere up here is supposed to be the um the mine the yeah. old mine we're getting there but the further up we go the bigger the crystals get so we'll see we'll see what happens right now we have to climb this thing no, that's a loose rock in the back that's a loose rock okay can't use my hands so this is fun <laughs> yeah he can't use his hands <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we boy. thought that this would be good to do because there's no digging involved. Okay, come show me what you found. Wow, I can see it shining from here. Yeah, it was laying in the shadow oh. like this. And uh -huh. at first I thought it was just an ordinary rock and then I looked closer and voila. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. GoPro, stop recording. Stop recording. I'm trying to figure this out. Stop recording. Stop recording. Oh. All right, so Brian just found this one. And then I just found this one. The secret to finding good stuff is to go where people don't go. <laughs> that is true. That's how we find most of our good stuff. Be cr ouch. Ooh, and that's why I have a band-aid on my finger. Going where oh. other people don't want to go. Yeah. Be adventurous. Take a trip. And go where people don't go. And this isn't actually too bad. I think anybody could do this. If they didn't have a dog strapped to their chest yeah, like say, a baby. I did say leave her behind. Out, so. Well, you know. Pixie did say she wanted to go. I didn't think it was up to her. Hey, you saw her smile. Yeah, I know, that was weird. <laughs> 
going, it's all in. <laughs> you saw her smile. Yeah, it's like creepy death clown kind of smile. <laughs> we gotta move these pine needles. Alright. We didn't bring a rake. Next time we'll bring a rake. So, I just saw this one glistening at me. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not like a serious point or anything. Oh yeah, it's got a point on it. It's pretty cool. So, oops. Little one. Did you do a break it? No, I dropped a small little oh. there you go. piece there. The dig spot up at Diamond Point um, is not the only place you can find crystals. It's the entire area up on top. We went down, what road was it? 433? We went down the 433 road and uh, parked and went down a drainage, but you don't even have to go in the drainage. It's in the road. It's on the it's on the ground. It's everywhere. They're everywhere. They're small. Uh, and we didn't make it to the mine because, you know, we were slow as usual, but we will make it. I mean, you could, you could, like you said it before, bring a rake. Yeah, bring a rake. You could rake the ground and probably tear up a whole bunch of them. Oh, heck yeah. So. Yeah, not finding much over in here. Oh, I like. Here, look. Look at that. Pretty cool. Do -do -do. We well, were trying. We day. were trying to prove <laughs> that they're everywhere up here, <laughs> not just at the Diamond Point dig site. So you don't have to go there. You can go other places. Drainages are a great place to go. Day two. Since uh. We didn't make it to the mine yesterday. <laughs> Easily sidetracked. We were sidetracked. <laughs> and uh, we are a tenth of a mile, so it says, from this alleged mine. I don't know if we're gonna find it, but we're gonna look around for it. I think we're gonna walk right into it. I hope, with any luck. But the further we came up this way, uh, the bigger the points got. Brian found a few. Oh, yeah. Wait, picks. Hold well on. Such as that. This is a fairly large point. So we know there's some goodness up here. Yeah. And we are in a <laughs> logging operation. Uh, yeah. Look up. Yeah, watch your uh, Widowmakers. And this road that we took in uh, is not on any map. <laughs> yeah. Pixie, come on. Hold on. I gotta spin. Oh gosh. She took off. <laughs> she did. <laughs> um, it's not on any map. It does not exist. Um, except for the fact we're walking on it. So we know except it for exists. the fact that we're walking on it. <laughs> the canopy got short. Short? Yeah, canopy dropped. Canopy dropped. So we uh, stopped. Wait. 500 feet that way. That way? Okay. The canopy dropped, so we stopped and decided to walk in the point six miles? Uh, point four. Point four miles in. I keep hearing them. Funny noise back behind us. Oops. What? Something. 
keep hearing a weird noise behind us. Anyway, uh, Where is it then? Let's go that way. Well, there's nothing back there. That we can see. Oh, well, great line of sight. So weird. Anyway. All right, so it's supposed to be down here and uh, turn the camera back on when we get back down. There's Brian. All right, so we did find the site. Whoa. Um, they covered it up with all this limestone. Uh, Brian's kind of working on it to see how far down it goes. It looks like it goes down pretty far. <laughs> He's going to be here for days. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're not digging, we're uncovering. There you go. Um, there's another one up here. Let me get to it. Uh, if I can find it again. These are the two that we found so far. Um, and we have found evidence of larger crystals here. But all this has been covered up by 40, 50 years of stuff. So here is the, uh, the other spot where they've taken this huge rock and put it over the hole and uh, from what I have uncovered if you can see here's a big hole down there it is deep so, well, at least we found it and we know we're at the right spot. And my little dog is worried about me. Dixie, over here. Get over here upstairs. Get up. there. Go back to your home. All right, if we find more crystals, we will show. All right, so for day two, We've learned a few things. First thing we learned is uh, we need more experience hunting crystals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we're pretty good at finding them in the drainage and on the road beds and you know things like that. But if as far as the digging side of it goes, I, they just don't know enough yet. If you're a newbie, stick to the drainages. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, granted, this is only my third time ever up here, so uh, I would consider myself very much a newbie at it. So um, we're we're out of our element here because uh, we usually do agates, and we know what to do for that. So yeah, we're trying new things. I'm gonna do some more research on what the digging for crystals looks like, as far as what what things we should be looking for, because obviously we just don't seem to have it quite yet, which is fine. I mean, it's like anything else, everybody learns and you just gotta go through the paces. The other things that we've learned though, is that the research through the geology reports that Julie does is pretty spot on as far as guiding us to some locations where you can find things and uh, just give you an idea of, of off the beaten path, if you will, um, which is our preference. We're not, I, I'm not a big go to the a commercial site kind of person, I guess you would say, or something like that. So, how you would do that is just get online and whatever area you're intrigued with, you type in a geology report for this area, whatever it's called, whatever it's named, and usually it'll. It, it'll be somewhere in the findings 
Yeah. And it'll it'll be under like USDS dot gov. Where we are right now um, was an old claim as Julie talked about yesterday back in 1985 or so, somewhere around there. Um, obviously it's not active anymore. It was a commercial claim. Yeah, commercial for uh, harvesting crystals. And I think she did some video of the site when we were out there. I was off doing something else. And so pretty positive we found it, but with the logging operation that's going on, uh, everything's just covered over with logging debris. And, um, I'll show out the window. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, it, it's, it was just hard to really find the edge of where the old mine sides out. Push some stuff back in because there was, well, oh, hello, what do you do? Uh, there was no rhyme or reason to the way the rocks were stacked in there, and there was lots of air pockets, lots of gaps. So, to me, that's an indicator that that was a fill. Um, I might be wrong, but that's that's my best guess, and I'm sticking with it. So. Well, and the GPS coordinates took it took us right <laughs> it, to that spot. It did. It dropped us right on it. And I'm sure that there were more holes, but because of the logging, everything was covered. Yeah, and then the other thing about that is, from where the mine site was, it's there's a downslope right to the drainage. And once you go past where the mine location was, up drainage, the amount of uh, Pace and Diamonds that are in the drainage pretty much went to nil. I found like three in a long stretch, whereas, you know, all the way up we were finding things. So that to me was another indicator that we were on the mine site and it's just been slowly washing down into the drainage. And that's why we were having such luck finding all kinds of little little pieces and, and well, whatnot. Here's another thing too, is that gets closer and closer to the Diamond Point dig site. So there's less material to be washing down. Yeah, that's true too. Um, it's a theory. Yeah, and then we did find a couple of really cool pieces which will be on the end of the, of the video. We'll, you know, I mean, it's, it's cool stuff. Um, as Julie said, I had an epic day. <laughs> I brought a dog. Yeah, she decided to handicap herself with uh, the dog here as a, as a challenge so that um, I could actually feel good about myself and finding things. And Even more I than I already her, am. her willing to do that. So that was very kind. But um, yeah, we got some cool stuff that we'll definitely put on the end of the video to show. Left. And then... Uh, Pull up your window. Dirt. Yep, yep, I got it. We did see some other stuff on our way back out along the road, which was pretty strong indicators of some good stuff that's up on some hillsides away from the mine site. So we're gonna um, go back and and take another look another day. Uh, not right now, obviously. Hold, hold that thought. So this road, uh, I would not suggest doing it unless you have four wheel drive and high clearance. This is a, uh, it's a little bit gnarly. Yeah, you do. Sweet. <laughs> yes. It's that piece of metal. <laughs> So, yeah, don't do that. It's, it's that high. <laughs> that side's worse. <laughs> Our new license plate.
two up there. Going back up this way. There they are. church tomorrow. It's just chilling. The question is, where are your friends? Yeah. When there's one, there's more. 